What is going on guys? Drake here with WCCF Tech TV and today we have some leaked benchmarks for you guys of the performance benchmarks of AMD's upcoming 500 series of video cards. These cards, more specifically the RX 580, 570, and 550, had performance results shown at 3D Benchmark Database. And without further ado, let's get right into the news. So to begin, we are going to take a look at the performance numbers that we have leaked. These results can confirm that the performance advantage of these GPUs will come directly from clock speed bumps and minor process enhancements. One of these enhancements includes adding an 8-pin power connector to fix the previous generation's issue of not having enough power draw. The performance test that we have for the RX 580 shows us that the chip was overclocked to 1500 MHz on the player's core and the memory was overclocked to 2121 MHz. As we can see in the benchmark number results, the 580 gathers a 3D mark score of 6390 with a graphics score of 6880. Next, the RX 570 gained a 3D Mark score of 5,419 and a graphics score of 5,719. Lastly, the 550 got a 3D Mark score of 1,832 and a graphics score of 1,849. Keep in mind that all cards here were tested with the same Intel Core i7-6700K clocked in at 4 GHz respectively. So as we can tell by these results, these are basically what we expected from AMD incremental increases in this new refresh line series of cards i don't think anybody was really expecting huge increases with the 500 series over last generation and these look to be just about what everyone expected in terms of numbers these video cards are set to hit store shelves on april 11th exactly one week from today at the time of this recording there will be many custom models available at launch as well as reference models as well also, don't forget that AMD Vega cards are expected to come around late May to early June as well, so we will definitely have our hands full with lots of content for you guys. Also, if you guys want the full specs and details of the RX 500 series of cards, as well as the benchmarks and all that stuff, the link will be down below for your viewing experience. There you will be able to find the in-depth benchmarks and results and compare those on your own. That's going to wrap up this video guys, hopefully you did enjoy. Let us know down below, what do you guys think of these new 500 series cards performance? Are they what you expected? Are you excited for these? Are you more excited for Vega? Let us know. That's gonna do it guys, thank you for watching WCCF Tech TV. Signing off, I'm Drake, peace.